curtain. Welcome, yeah, to the Devon Zone. <laughs> yeah. So we have a crazy set coming up, right? This is the the grand of finals of the Xena Arcadia. Yes, the grandest of finals. As we get to watch everyone's favorite character from this year top eight, and your favorite character, Samus. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Samus is interesting. Yeah, I got to. I had the Samus Gauntlet. I played three How's three it? sets against How's Samus. Susano. Notably, also only played Samus here. Wait, really? In top six, yes. Wait, so four, two of them. Yeah. four Samus players? Uh, or three, rather? Um, because I played, uh, I forget who it was. Yeah, uh, you played Mishka, Mishka. And then, but yeah. then Susano on winners sent um, the other, oh gosh, down into losers. That's you. wild. Mm -hmm. uh, Stage Hazard. Yes. But that was a Samus ditto? No, he sent Stage Hazard, uh, Susano is the Oh, 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 so the, that's so the Susano. amount of sets, I yes. see. So yeah. we've actually only had the first potential we had for in here in top six, a non Samus uh, on screen was actually if you had won. So well, well instead, I I got pretty close. You and did. It looked very different than the the O three that I took in uh, winter semis. So. And speaking of looking very different, Stage Hazard are doing a much better job keeping this one close early than he did in their winter side set. At we're seeing in, we talked earlier, but we're seeing Stage Hazard really give a lot less respect to the moment when Susano chooses not to interact. He's not getting caught by swinging and getting called out by some of these, these menu options or by the Thunders, and instead is actually forcing Susano to approach, forcing Susano to expend these bounce and these other resources. Oh, to but find I, I'm in. seeing uh, heroes getting lit up here, surrounded by colors. This, this can't mean something good. No, nope. but... Stage Hazard don't care. But one of the things that we see with Samus is that this character does have decent CQC tools and a lot better oh, yeah. frame data than and, Hero does. And I know better than mm -hmm. anyone in this room right now that Stage Hazard ain't afraid to use those CQC tools. No. he Two like, back airs on the way down, mm -hmm. <laughs> forward air whenever possible. And that's the biggest difference between him and Mishka, right? Yes. He is that Mishka very defensive, but Stage Hazard very willing to come in and play aggressive. And now he, him being willing to back off, say, I'm going to just play defensive into your buffs and not try and let you get in, means that in order to get the openings, Susano has to find bounce, and there's only a set amount per stock. Once they go away, Stage Hazard is getting to do whatever he wants, and he's controlling the pace of the game very well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I, I just keep flashing back to my set versus Stage Hazard, where I, I'm used to this pressure. And uh, yeah, I, I actually made a decision at the start of that third game in the last set that I think uh, could have won me the set. Uh, it got pretty close, but I don't know if you saw. He did a fourth wall break after 2-0 and and held a meme up of someone crying in a chair into their hands to the camera. I I uh, I have to say I don't like and this then man. SD. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, did tell me to say not nice things about him on the mic. He, I will he did say, say that. Yeah, he explicitly told me to do that. He he. he didn't tell me anything, but I'm I'm free to oblige horrible things said about Stage Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I will tell you the things that were said after the set because I can't repeat them on air. But they, um, <laughs> will a uh, snooze is gonna not find its mark. Susano is so so clutch at finding those over and winner side in look his at, look how Susano but, is just playing mm -hmm. so patient. Like there's mm -hmm. just no pressure on them. Yeah, he, like, and that's the thing is his right. He's really abusing. Hero's ability to make you approach, even when they're behind. Yep. And by stacking those buffs. It's like, oh, you're gonna stop me? Now I have bounce. And then his discipline has been, as you just mentioned, as you noticed, right, so immaculate. He never is swinging first. He's never pushing preemptive buttons. When he yep. is, that's when Stage Hazard is finding the openings. But until right now, we're just really not seeing it at all. Yep. And uh, we're we're in a kind of last hit situation here. <laughs> no. Yeah, the, 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 the clutch bounce, that would have been all she wrote had yes. that menu option not come up, but who needs skill when you have luck sometimes, right? Absolutely. You know, uh, well, from the center of the Pokeball, we got a, an up tilt. I think, is he DQing? Wait, what's going on? No, he's just saying, what was that? Oh, it was an up tilt. 
Yeah, this is the first time I've discovered that Devin actually has the players mic'd up. Oh, yeah, no, I noticed that on, in the thing. I saw a little um, sure thing, and I was yeah. like, that's a microphone. I've never been back there, yeah. so I wouldn't know. I, I have not much to say when I'm back there unless uh, I have to quickly trash talk stage hazard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so thoughts. Thoughts? What would you like to say? You are on the mic. You have the ability to trash talk. Oh uh, no, I've already, I've already said this. Uh, you know, it's uh, he's a he's a mean man with a with a doo 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 head. Is it because he plays Samus? Uh, no, but yeah, you can bleep that out if you guys want for production. That was it, it's live. There's no oh, bleeping it out. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, it's I'm not sorry. like we have a ten minute delay like the news. <laughs> right. This is this is straight up live. Twitch style. Yeah. People get called doo-doo heads all, all time. I Capture taken. Uh-oh. Can you imagine? That. You're a souvenir. Yeah, you're a live mu you're a li you're a musician. You yes. you know. Imagine if you could bleep stuff out while live. Well, I, I bleep stuff out all the time. That's why they call it chip tune. You know, I can't argue with that. I'm be hi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So <laughs> Uh, I, got I, I almost, I almost said the F-bomb. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm the, the one trans person on the internet who doesn't make music. Right, right. But I <laughs> guess what? Every trans person, as far as in my experience, is wonderfully artistically gifted. I'm not. Well, here you are, artistically speaking. Oh, I'm just good at talking too much, man. I'm just I'm well, just neurodivergent. <laughs> this is my hyperfixation. <laughs> you don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah, you're just. <laughs> oh no, De De Devin kidnapped me. Did he not tell you? I did. Hear I'm about literally that. like yeah. you can't see, That's so sorry. but I'm literally chained. Yes, you down are. below. You know it's fair. Yeah, they keep me here. I what? Mean... Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if Stage Hazard is watching this, uh, nah, he's he's not a mean man with a doo doo brain. Uh, He's just uh, he's just a bit of a jerk, and you know sometimes you need a jerk around. <laughs> I don't think he would object to this. I think I mean, this is like he answered you by taking that stock right, right and mighty quick, my friend. So he did. Yeah, here we go. He might uh, be a jerk, but he's not messing around here down one up. Hey, guess what? He may be a jerk, but he's banned from future Arcadians. So nobody other than you has to deal with him ever again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Suzanu is really uh Have you noticed that Suzanu's just had like almost no MP the whole time? Yeah, because he's he's not making those excess swings. He's not taking those extra hits to actually regain MP. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's only exactly. playing in that 30 to 50 range and he's playing at the 30 range. Why? Because when you're at 30 MP, you can use all your spells. And it doesn't matter if you're out in between because you're betting on finding that one hit, right? And he he goes down, he finds the spell, he, he's uh, down at 10, yeah. takes one swing, right back at 30. He's all like, I'm at the white again. of the Pokeball, and I could forward air you for charge shotting you. Exactly. <laughs> like, And I did all that with like 10 MP. You And you see you see Vivi do this too, where they will play with very low MP. They'll stack their buffs, and they'll use their tools in between, but unless they're forced into a scrap situation, they won't interact with you. They won't try and build that MP because it requires you to, at minimum, right, swing on shield and take, make unsafe Yeah, plays. on Samus, who, like, can just send you into the stratosphere, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, good on Suzano. Um, wowie. Yeah. Beautiful grab, finding the kaboom, but that tether wheel is gonna pull you in like a tractor beam. The dash dance. Stage on net finding new and creative ways to taunt, even down a stock. Did he taunt? Well, he was he was doing a very short dash dance right after taking that stock. Like, uh, <laughs> like it well, was sometimes melee. sometimes you have to hype yourself up, even when you're. You know, well, he's losing. not hype up that di. And now though. now he's confused. Well, he's confused because he was holding straight out. Well, sometimes you gotta hold straight out. Into the blast zone. Yeah, because sometimes you left something in the blast zone. So as go get it. every between game, there's a conversation on what is going on in Stage Hazard's head, or in our heads about Stage Hazard. When is the when is the very angsty and depressed Metroid Ship Tunes remix coming? I mean, uh, <laughs> angst is a beautiful uh, sort of as we for zoom art. in on the angsty hair flip. I would say his luscious locks. In fact, they are very luscious. Yes. If if we can, we've said enough nasty things about Stage Hazard. It is now time oh, to lovely. to uh, to compliment his luscious locks and that beautiful dash. I, I will say, <laughs> losers finals also uh, best hair finals. Yeah, pretty good so far. Uh, 
Well, oh, oh, wait, you said me me and... Uh, yeah, stage, stage hazard. Well, you know, we we, we, we got to do it. Yeah, Why you not? got those luscious locks, man. Hey, well, hey, I, I think right now the commentator group, we got to... We got some luscious locks over here, okay. and and we got some luscious jab locks coming out. <laughs> oh well, you went, man. If that had come out, that would have been the smoothest transition of all time. But instead, the only smooth things happening are stage hazard movement and the <laughs> discipline on Susano's back airs. That's how it's done, my friend. There you go. I'm learning. Uh, just like I play for the clip, I commentate for the clip. Even if it doesn't happen, I gotta say it. You know. Uh, can, is there a way that we can see Twitch chat and all the all the people talking if they are? If they're talking, there's no way. That's oh, uh, he just he just got up and I thought something you, happened. You asked for the if we could see Twitch chat and he said no He's because like, there's no more gameplay happening. Oh no god, he just <laughs> quit. He said he might do that, but he did. He said he didn't want to do it in second place because that meant he would be banned from Arcadians, and he didn't want to do that in second place. Wait, he so he might do it place. against you, but then he did. He it, but no, then he, he did it in grand. He told me he was thinking about throwing and then it turned out I was the losers finals person and he was like I don't know if I want to throw now because I want to be Pro. so he didn't say that but that's basically the vibe that he gave so he just wait because he told me he wanted to DQ why DQ there why because he thought he might win grants and then he gave up wait but why do when you're already banned at least try and get the bag uh that Sano would like an interview would yeah let's yeah which let's, would take, like to do the let's do it take my seat Yes. Um, let's do it. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I will go, um, go nowhere. We're, we're, yeah. Uh, uh, Devin, the Twitter's that. FGC Susano. Yeah, and you can add that to yeah. your start GG because this graphic is powered directly by yeah. that fantastic website. Fantastic casting with you, Pete, bro. And welcome to the winner of this here, Arcadian. Some round robin style. You had to make it through all the way through the winner's side. So that was four top eight sets plus nine sets down in those round robin pools. Which I'm not actually familiar. What was your record in in pools today? If you if you know, uh, it was like 13 two. 13 and two. So you you did, did you go nine and zero in sets? Yeah, I was, okay. I was learning some matchups. When I lost a stage hazard in, in a Robin, I made a mistake because I, I sandbagged by mistake. So I was <laughs> like, cool, I'm going to just dab what he does. So when I was knowing he was doing the same thing with Mishka was doing, mm -hmm. I just started pressuring him with bounce in these buffs because he wants to be like, oh, I'm just going to shoot projectiles. So I know you want to play lame, so I know how to get in because with the funnies I'm using this matchup, I could just get in your face. And the crouching in this, you ha I shut it down. I, you could shoot at me all you want. I'm just going to get in. I could go start routing and chase you down regardless. So, first question. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. I feel happy. You just want to pretty... I feel happy. It's my first Xenos, honestly, Arcadia won. So, I was like... Well, I mean, it, you can only win one. Yeah, I know. now you're banned. Yeah, I know. I get out of here. Nah, but yeah. I can come back. I'm the commentator. <laughs> but yeah, I like, have fun. I just know, like, I practiced. I was at the bar yesterday, turning uh, like bar center team. They was hosting a monthly. Mm -hmm. I won 137 dollars over there. Congratulations. I, thanks. And uh, I was like doing my work on these characters matchup because I play this game. But right now I'm I'm studying Street Fighter Six Two at the same time to get understanding the feels, executions, all that. I've been like playing both games, playing other stuff. I just laugh. Street Fighter. More likely, I'm just gonna be like. I would come here once, but I'm banned for Arcadian. I'm like, it's, it happens. I don't care. Come, come for Xeno 300 in two I'll, weeks. I'll pull up to 300. 300. I'm pulling yeah, up. It seems like they might need to put a bigger bounty on your head. I'll pull up because yeah. I feel like all these matchups is tiring. Like, I just drank a lot of water. I drank one soda can, two soda cans, and like four water bottles. Hydrate or dehydrate, right? Yep. Yeah. So I have some questions for you, actually. We noticed as you, like Pete Bro, went through the Samus Gauntlet here in Top 8, Bro, that was like two you sandwiches. played incredibly. I had to play Mishka into Stage, stage hazard. hazard, like bro, into Stage Hazard yeah. again. Yeah, I was like, why this double Samus? It's it's so weird that I had to like, bro. I hate fighting this character. Once I figured out what they're doing, I just shield break them. I just catch them off guard, punishing them, mm -hmm. being down with their mistakes. Because I'm like, bro, don't play lane gets me. Because I get bounced, a Celerado, I'm chasing you down. Like I'm a bounty hunter. I'm not gonna let you run forever. Every time he was trying to do the same thing, yeah. I just said, I'm going to make you whiff punish. That's on you. And you did lock him down really, really 
hard. It was beautiful seeing the discipline you played with. We noticed, um, Devin and I were talking a lot about how you never swung preemptively. You were very content sitting back, st stacking your buffs, and say, and letting them get uncomfortable, waiting for those bounces, and picking your spots to get in. How did you decide when and where to pick those spots to approach to find those chinks in Samus's armor? The trick is I make them make a mistake, and I'm mm -hmm. like, don't jump, don't roll, because in Winter Fighters, I know when he roll, I roll through the, the, spark, the bomb because it had its ability, rolling, and I grabbed him and cycle my throw. Then when he was trying to do the same thing, let's, I down to forward because I covered his option. When he tried to down air me on the stage, I moved back and forward smash because he thought I was going to not catch him. So I whip punish him, and I'm like, you can't do that because I'm going to catch on so fast. More likely, you can't do that against because I'm going to react. I've been reacting all day. I've been parrying bombs and bounce, and I have to play neutral, solid neutral. I reset neutral because every time he's funny, I'm forcing him to pressure. I will say your your ability to find mix-ups, layer your kit. Like we saw against, I believe it was the first time you played Stage Hazard. Yeah, I kind of cause because I stand back. I was but you also in, in, you found your you found you started finding dash attacks, which you hadn't pulled out all set at the very end of the set. Cause the because tr the trick is with dash attack, you could buffer it. If you do it once again, you hold the stake down and left, you buffered again. I did it because it's a whip punish move. You, you land, it's twice, and you're going to get punished for it. You can't commit like that because I know your spots. But Every you, you saved it to the very end of the set. Yeah. And that, right, and you hadn't really shown that earlier in top eight in the other Samus you played either. And so you did a good job keeping your game plan simple and forcing them to, res to beat the options you gave them before adding in additional complexities and really layering your game plan. Yeah. What What was your thought process behind My that? My thought process on the matchups, it was like, I know they play the same because mm -hmm. Mishka want to zone and hit buttons. They like, they want me to approach. They want to force me to approach. I could mm -hmm. play back. I get Celerado because with Oof and Psycho, you going to stack butts. I'm that buff, that's on you because I'm going to hit your shield. That's on you. You can't get back because if I touch your shield, why are you shield in front of me? Because I'm going to react. And I caught their normal gets a lot with that back air. Every time they normal get up a back air, because y'all saw the reaction, like, oh, he just back air on a ledge. He just read the options twice. It's like, you got to know to mix up your option. You just can't do the same thing, because that's a mistake you're going to regret. Keep doing it. It's bad habits build up. Very fair. Now, before we let you go, because you deserve a chance to go celebrate, it is 10 o'clock, so things are getting a little bit late here. Sun's already down in the city that never sleeps. Yeah. But before we do, Anything else you want to say before we sign off? Anything you want to say to the folks? Shout out to Super Cat Bros for, for Rune supporting for you me. In the chat. Yeah. For supporting me, being out there. This is for my Discord. They are happy I won. This is like my first Xenos. Arcadian, I'm banned. <laughs> I can't come back. I don't care. <laughs> that's the, best, you that's you got the, the bag. best case scenario for ben, entering an Arcadian. One, you're one for one. You get to put, I entered one and I won one. You know what yeah. I get to put from here? Yeah. I entered today, I went one in eight, and the one set that I won was a gentleman's to rock, paper, scissors. I, I so, know. Do it. Do it for the title right now. Yeah. Okay, come right. on. <laughs> rock, paper. Oh, okay, it's two out of three. <laughs> two, out of two out of three. One more. But if we do it two out of three, five dollars. No, five dollars. <laughs> no, I don't want even. I get my. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. But we'll, we'll run. <laughs> oh. Good call, good call. Good read, good read. You got my reads. Good you predict my rock. future. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Reliable you the rock. thing is, I, I have the commentator power up of when it comes down. I don't always throw rock. You can ask. I won earlier playing with throwing paper. That was just a soul rock. Yeah. It's a, anyway, it's a rock of ages, uh, man. Congratulations, Susano. Hope to see you around uh, a little bit more I, frequently. You know, whenever you can. I'll see you guys. Probably 0 300. I might pull up. I might yep. pull up. Do you know yeah. when it is? July 5th. July 5th. Guys, remember, July 5th, Xeno 300. Pull We're, up. Yeah. There's going to be bounties. Some big pop bonuses. We're some gonna have, have been announced. Of, and We're going to have some top players some here. Some to come. Yeah. We're going to have some rivalry. Pull up. July 5th, Xeno 300. Get up, get up. Get out there. And before we get out of here, folks, I've been Ritual. You can find me on Twitter, at RitualCasts. You can also find my illustrious one set long co caster, Pebro, at Anamanaguchi on Twitter. Or you can go over to his Twitter and find his Dice FM link and buy a ticket to their show on 
Ju July 25th, a Tuesday night here in New York City. You should come see Anna Monaguchi play some of the best chip tunes you'll ever see. Maybe even some Scott Pilgrim music if you're a little lucky. You can also tweet out unban hashtag free HO3K to help House no. get their Twitter back yeah. again. Yeah, part two. All right. Anything have else? Good, have a good night, everybody. Love you all, and see Pick ya. Pick a pee.